Warning. The following is for information purposes only. Incorrect use could make your TV unusable or possibly damage it. Don't be a Be smart. Take care and use this sensibly. So this, of course, is the normal menu that we have on our Hisense TVs. They do vary a little bit, but it's almost exactly the same on all of them. And if I go down to all here, you can see all the various settings, the picture mode, sound, channel, network, system, and about. And these are probably things that you're familiar with. You can change the various sound outputs and the bass and the treble and all the usual things and the same with the picture mode you can change that to a PC game or HDR if you're watching a movie you might, might want it a bit more bright and watching sport you might want it a bit more sharp I suppose you can apply the picture mode to either of the inputs or you can apply them to all the sources adjust the brightness and so on and so on and so on you've got your channels you can set up your network and your system of course you can set up your location i'm in the uk a system pin if you need it time language application settings hdmi and quickly go into the advanced settings you can type in the timeout the sleep mode pvr input labels and so on and so on but that's not really what you're here for you're here to see the other menu the secret uh, system menu the engineers menu so Let's have a little look at that then. So if we go into it now, you can see it's quite different from the ordinary menu that you get for your settings. And it's got quite a few different actual choices here. Now, to navigate this, you use the same little D-pad that you've got on your remote control to go up and down or side to side and to choose. So if we just look at white balance, if we click on that, we got our gain, color temp, all the various things that you can probably do mostly from your normal menu. If we go back, we have to go back out and then back in. You've got your signal. So if I click on that, you can change the different signal types for your particular region or country. Now, I'm not going to change anything there. Go down to options. You've got various options there. One of the interesting ones is the LNB power. So if you're using the satellite part of the TV and your LNB needs to be powered, you can actually switch the power on and off from this menu. You've got your region. Now again, if you want to use the TV under a different region code, you can quite simply click on that, set your region, then go down and set your country to a different country. So you might be able to get services that you wouldn't normally get in your country by changing these. You've got your logo, and as you can see, I've changed mine, as you saw in the introduction, to something different other than Hisense. So if I just go back across, you can see the various different types. I'm unsure whether these are different names that the Hisense TVs go under, but you've got Mio, GGAD, DLC, Infinity, Shonic, KMC, TIT, HWAM, then General Super, Stream System, Thompson, Condor, Oro, Rosso, Welcome, and Hisense. The only one I recognize there is Thompson, but you can change that setting to whatever you want. I've now changed it back to Hisense, but if I want to, I can change it back to what I started with. Now, I'm not going to change it this time round. Language, of course, you can set your language. Power mode, remember mode. And there's some choices there. Power on mode, standby mode. Leave it in remember mode, or I'm leaving it in remember mode. Inlay pattern. Now, this is useful. My computer fans have just kicked up as I'm recording, typically. Uh, the inlay, inlay pattern, this is for when you want to test the screen and the pixels on the screen. 
So if you want to test, the, make sure you've got no dead pixels in it, various colors, you can use this. So if I choose that, it goes black, which is nothing. Then press the first across, it goes gray, lighter, 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 all the way up to white. And then red, green, blue. So you can use that to test your pixels. So go back down to options. I think that was the last of the options. Go back again. Then you've got clean ship. Again, this is something I wouldn't touch and I don't recommend you touching it either. Pattern test. Again, you've got various color tests and patterns. And then we go back out of that. Right keys, I haven't looked at that yet. You've got your TV version, and I believe that's a software or a firmware version, FRC version, your Mac code, uh, HDCP 2.2 key, if it's uh, applicable on your set. On this particular version I have, it is. With various other keys, all the way down. Wind, wind key. Now, if we go back up to the top, would have been easier to go out and back in and go across to design. We've got a video and we've got a video curve and backlight. Sometimes when you press the back button, it takes you out. Sometimes it doesn't. Picture mode and you can change the mode and various other things. Again, these are in the normal menu as well. So again, we HDR PC game standard dynamic. So you can actually, by the looks of it, you can force it into HDR mode. That's an interesting option. We leave it in PC game. We got the audio options, which is just volume, audio mode, prescale, main chip SSC. Again, these are items I wouldn't touch because I don't know anything about them. The setup, which can do a clean, fresh boot setup as if it was a brand new television. You can use that. And then finally, the one that I have changed as well, fast boot. You can turn this on or off to enable the TV to start up quicker. So how do you get into this menu? It's not as easy as you might think because you have to know the particular way of doing it and the code to use to get in. Now I know the code for my set. There is other codes for other mix of TV and there may be another code for different versions of the Hisense 4K television as well. But I'm going to show you now exactly how you get into this menu. Quite simple, you will need your remote control. All you have to do first of all is go into settings, maybe a little cog like on this one, or maybe a, an M. Once you're in settings, scroll down to all settings, and then go to sound. From sound, you go into a advanced audio settings and choose that. Now the next thing you need to do is to scroll down to the balance control. In there you need to make sure that the balance is at zero, so you've got 50-50 either side. Once you have that, on your remote control you type in the number 1969 and as you can see on the screen there, a green M has appeared to signify that now when you next press the settings button, the cog or the letter M, whichever it is on yours, the secret system menu will appear. Now again, I have to emphasize this is for the people who know what they're doing. You can change things and cause a lot of trouble for yourself by changing them, possibly even damaging the set beyond use, or maybe having to reflash the system to get it back to normal. So that's how you get in, and from there, as you saw earlier, you can go into the various sets. To get out, all you have to do is quite simply press the settings menu again, Then, on the remote control, press the standby button, screen goes off, press it again, 
and everything comes back to its normal purpose. So this time when you actually set or press the settings button you get your normal set of settings back up again. So that's how you get into the secret service menu on Hisense televisions. Thank you for watching.